paper is about the expansion of ice-free areas in terrestrial Antarctica under climate change. There's over 99% of life in terrestrial Antarctica live in these ice-free areas. And we're not just talking about penguins and seals. We're talking about a whole range of, of plants and animals from lichens and, and fungi and mosses down to little invertebrates like uh, tardigrades and, and mites and springtails. So there's a whole range of life that lives in these ice-free areas. Most people probably picture the Antarctic continent as this mass of ice and ice sheets, but what they might not know is that a very tiny fraction of the continent, less than 1% in fact, is permanently ice-free. So we see these small patches of ice-free areas springing up around the coasts and along the mountain tops. Across the continent we're expecting up to 17,000 kilometres squared of new ice-free area, and that's a 25% increase in total area, but nearly most of this will all be concentrated in the Antarctic Peninsula. What the ice melt means is that ice-free areas start to expand in size, and some of them expand so much that they start to join together. So this increasing expansion coalescence leads to increased connectivity between patches that have been separated for in some cases probably hundreds of thousands of years. And that's got implications for how species interact with each other, whether it be native species interacting with each other or whether it be invasive species coming in and in interacting with native species. And we also know that together with the warming climate, this expansion of ice-free area will likely provide more habitat and better habitat for invasive species. There's a strong focus on trying to protect and conserve this important biodiversity in terrestrial Antarctica. And if we understand what's going to happen under different climate change scenarios, then we can actually incorporate that into our conservation planning.